Ray. Good morning, and welcome to our town hall meeting with Ronnie Earle, candidate for Lieutenant Governor of Texas. My name is Linda Jones, and I am your host today. And in a few moments, Ronnie will join us and share some opening remarks. But before we begin, I want to make certain you stay connected to our town hall meeting. Hi, welcome right to the telephone town hall meeting with Ronnie Earle. Uh, what is the question you would like to ask for Mr. Earl? What I really would like to ask him is what is his thinking on the new health bill that is in Congress now? And our staff will assist you. We thank you for joining our town hall meeting, and please know that this call does not replace an actual town hall meeting where you might get to speak to Ronnie in person. This program allows you to have a voice, and it gives us the opportunity to create a community that can spread the word for Ronnie, a community that can vote to make changes in Texas. Great question. And I have, do you favor limitation of the TOS test to return time and money back to, to our classrooms? Yes, ma'am. All right. Well, I have got your question. Uh, yes. Yes, hello. I wanted to know how you feel about toll roads. And we're on a conference call with thousands of people from across Texas asking questions of Democratic Lieutenant Governor candidate Ronnie Earle. If you like what you're here, be sure to vote for him this coming Tuesday and visit our website and send us a message. Um, we're going to move to um, a caller from Austin, Texas, Wendy Westerfield. Okay. My question is, um, as we know, the economy is real bad right now. And I was wondering how Mr. Earl plans to balance the budget of Texas and help for people to either keep their jobs or to make new jobs. Well, thank you. That is a great question. I, I really think that we could do some uh, real good uh, if we invested in small business. I would like to see Texas become a haven for small business. I would invest in retraining programs. Uh, most of us were, uh, went to school at a time uh, when we were trying to do particular things that are no longer relevant. And retraining is uh, it really is an investment in our future. We've got a, a smart, a motivated population and we ought to have a state government that takes advantage of that intelligence and that motivation to make life better for all of us. So thank you for your question. At this time, we're going to move to Beaumont. I do want to let you all know that you're listening in to Ronnie Earls, candidate for lieutenant governor. We have almost reached 12,000 listeners and attendees today, so we just really appreciate all of your help and participating with this. We can't do this without you. The listeners and your voice is what matters to us. Um, at this point, we're going to move up to Richardson, Texas, and speak with Bob Fusinato. I hope I'm getting your name right, Bob. Thank you so much for calling in. The requirement for energy represents both uh, a challenge and an opportunity. And, uh, you know, the challenge being the pollution of the current generating sources, and an opportunity in that we have a lot of renewable energy and also room for improvements on efficiency. And so my question is, is how would you as governor um, meet those challenges and op uh, opportunities? Well, I, I, again, it, the office that I'm running for is lieutenant governor, which is a little different from governor. Uh, it, that, that job requires working closely with the Senate of Texas. And I'm, those issues that you raised, I think, are monumental problems for our future. Uh, we have to do something to reduce our carbon footprint. Uh, and, and take action that makes us walk more lightly on the earth. I was born and raised on a ranch and uh, had a lot of experience with the consequences of careful stewardship of the land. And I, I'm interested uh, in creating ways for the public to be involved in protecting its own environment. The polluters have a stronger lobby in the legislature than the victims of pollution. I want to reverse that. That will do more to change the balance of power. I want to bring in some ordinary people to help make policy for the state, not people who make money from state policy. I mean, for too long, the capital has been pretty well run by lobbyists. Uh, it's time to reverse that and let the people run the process. And that's where I'd start. And if we can start in there, we're going to address these problems that you're talking about. And thank you for bringing them up. 
Thank you so much. We're going to move up to Minnie, who's calling in from Temple, Texas. Okay. Um, my question is, how are you going to address the cost of living raise for retired teachers? The Lieutenant Governor Dewhurst and Governor Perry have made sure we haven't had a cost of living raise since 2001. Well, it's, un it's unfair to expect you to live on 2001 resources. In fact, that is just infuriating. I mean, we entrust our future uh, in the form of our children to teachers. It's just unfair. We've got to do something about that. And Dewhurst and Perry together, uh, you know, they, mess they, they, they are just messing up the future of Texas because of the way they teach. They are treating the teachers uh, who are retired and still doing, still teaching. Uh, we entrust our future to our teachers. Mr. Earl, um, I, I like the way you're you're responding, uh, primarily because I think we're like-minded. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to nature. hear that. <laughs> that's human nature, isn't it? Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to return to your issue of equity, uh, and I hear a lot of that in everything that you're in all your responses, I hear a concern with equi equity and fairness. And I'm wondering, how do you propose that the people's voice be heard? What, what would be the best way of going about that? I like what you're doing right now. It's too bad it's not being aired all over the country in loudspeakers or something. <laughs> or aired, aired down as, with our representatives and let them hear exactly what the people are, are saying and their concerns. People feel helpless because their cost of living is going up and it seems in, that the middle class is getting smaller and smaller. Uh, I have, have said several times that what I really want to do is level the playing field. Those who get elected to serve don't get to hear much from ordinary people, from regular Texans. And so I have said before that what I want to do is create some uh, task forces that would be that would consist not just of members of the legislature or wealthy people, but would also consist of ordinary people, uh, and they would meet all over the state so that 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 uh, you in Grapevine uh, would have the opportunity to participate in a in, in a uh, study that would make recommendations to the legislature. And let me tell you, when a recommendation comes from ordinary people. Uh, it has ten times the power. Thank you very much for that question. Thank you so much to all our listeners today. Um, this has been a, a town hall meeting with Ronnie Earl, candidate for lieutenant governor. Please vote in the upcoming election, pro the primary election on Tuesday, March 2nd. Um, be a voice for Texas. It's, it's most important that you vote and that we all have um, uh, we, we all participate here in our governing of ourselves. Thank you very, very much for being here. And I would very much like to ask you for your vote on Tuesday. Uh, it, this is the great privilege of being, of living in a democracy that we get to choose our leaders. I would like to serve as your Lieutenant Governor and I would like to ask you to please vote on Tuesday and I would ask, like to ask you for your vote for me, Ronnie Earl for Lieutenant Governor. Thank you very much. Bye. The Teleforum has ended. <laughs> That was right pretty intense. Hour, in some ways it is, in some ways it's, it's energizing, it's yeah. exhilarating, that's yeah. what it is. Because I get more into it, the more I do it, the more I get into it. It's both because, because you hear ordinary people and you can hear the pain in their voice and the anger it. and their, you know, their... Well, the and yeah, yeah, I mean, there's, 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 it's right. Well, because no, I'll tell you, they're, I'll tell they're you thinking this. they're living in America, but they don't understand what's happened to us. Right. Well, and I'll tell you this, once you're Lieutenant Governor, I think we'll, We'll try and do one of these monthly or something like that. I think that's a so great idea. idea. Now, that is a great idea.